Hello and welcome to sapyard.com. We are ready for a new batch on advanced SAP UI5 with O data. This course has a prerequisites. All the participants should have a good hands-on knowledge of SAP UI5 and O data. This training is not for the freshers in UI5 and O data. We have curated this course to help all the developers to transition to a full-fledged front-end developer with complete expertise in handling the complex back-end O data services and the front-end UI design. After we completed our introduction to JavaScript and SAP UI5 training and then the UI5 with O data and SAP Fury training, our participants were able to work in UI5 project independently. They were able to deliver most of the client's requirements quite comfortably. But in real projects, the complexity is quite high and business requirements are quite demanding. Our participants often asked us for help and guidance on some scenarios which we believe is applicable for all clients. After taking feedback from our participants and the developers, we have compiled this real-time advanced course on SAP UI5 and OData and most of the UI5 developers and developers with OData service will benefit from this advanced training. The agenda of this training is quite simple. We have six topics to cover, which is create deep entity set in OData front-end and back-end, get expanded entity front-end and back-end, create stream in OData and file upload in UI5, get stream in OData and read file in UI5, batch operations in UI5 and OData, and finally, the smart controls and annotations in SAP UI5 and OData. So, the main goal of this course is to master SAP UI5 development. In this training, we will cover step-by-step -step create deep entity operation both at front-end and back-end. In real projects, we have to work on header and item or multiple item scenario along with associations. Consider a data model like sales order header with multiple sales order item and then it also can have association with the delivery lines. If we have to handle such operations in one call, we need to build the deep entity and then design the front-end and UI back-end OData accordingly. So in this training, we will learn exactly how to handle this deep entity set both at front-end and back-end. Next in line in our course is the get expanded entity set. Just like create deep entity set helps to perform the multiple level calls to SAP in one go, in the same way when multiple level expansion operation is needed, get expanded entity set comes to rescue. Say we want to fetch data from PO header and item and then there is an association between PO item to the purchase requisition which in turn can have links to some other data models. If you want to expand these multiple entities like linked with navigation property in a single entity set call with like dollar expand then get expand entity set will come handy. In short, the OData framework provides an option to perform this operation using deep structures. In this course, we will learn how to architect, design and code for this at both front-end and back-end level. File upload and download in SAP UI5 through NetWeaver Gateway is one common business requirement in almost all SAP projects. One of the aim of this training is to provide the step-by-step -step approach both at front-end and back-end to upload and download files. Basically, we will learn about the get stream, create stream. This will enable all participants learn about the tips and tricks of media handling in SAP UI5 and OData. Batch processing is another feature which needs to be implemented in almost all UI5 projects. When processing multiple records at one go is the need of the hour, batch processing is the solution. In this training, you will learn in details how to handle the batch processes both at front-end and back-end level. Smart controls is one technology which the traditional front-end developers do not venture into. 
In this course, we will make all our participants comfortable in smart controls. Smart table provides table binding and many operations like list, sorting, filtering, grouping, arranging columns out of the box. With smart control, the development time is reduced and with standard framework, the UI is robust, flexible and responsive. All our examples will handle crude operations and this will be real project scenarios. SAP YAR team has worked really hard to produce this course and compile all these important advanced topics in one training. We are positive this course will make the ABAP developer and the UI developer a complete front-end and back-end developer ready with all the knowledge to build and architect the right UI5 and OData solutions for their clients. Let us look into some important dates and information. The registration ends on 14th of September 2020. The link is at the description of this video. The enrollment and the payment of fee has to be completed by September 21st, 2020. The first day of our training is September 26th at 7.30 am IST which is like 5.5 hours ahead of the GMT standard time. There will be total of 14 classes in this training and the last day of the training is November 8, 2020. The recordings will be provided after each class and the participants will have lifetime access of these recordings. There is a prerequisite for this course as we mentioned in the very beginning. You need to have good working knowledge on SAP OData and SAP UI5. So this course is not for the freshers in UI5. And we will provide S4HANA 1809 server access till 30th of November 2020. Yes, more than two months and this is included in the training fee. You do not need to pay extra for the S4HANA 1809 server access. We know that on November 13, 2020, the SAP Cloud Platform Neo Trial account will be discontinued and as a result, the iconic SAP Web IDE full stack trial will also be discontinued. SAP wants us to start using the SAP Business Application Studio as its successor. But SAP Web IDE full stack licensed customers can continue using SAP Web IDE full stack. It is available and also supported and most SAP customers use licensed web IDE for their projects and they will have no impact at all. So in this training, we will be using web IDE. We have had our previous two trainings that is the introduction to JavaScript and UI5 and the SAP UI5 with OData and SAP Fury in web IDE. And this is the final course in the trilogy and we want to complete it in web IDE too. Therefore, we want to emphasize that this course is going to be done in Web IDE only and not in SAP Business Application Studio. Thank you very much for supporting and encouraging SAP Yard. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. Please email us at mailsapyard at gmail.com or WhatsApp us at plus one six four six seven two seven nine two seven three if you have any queries. Looking forward to seeing you live on the training day. Have a safe and wonderful time ahead. Thank you very much.